Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So for today's video, I thought I would do a lockdown haul because I don't know about everyone else, but I have accumulated quite a few items over lockdown because I can't help myself from online shopping. If you do enjoy this video, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy. And yeah, we've got a right mixture of stuff here. We've got clothes, we've got craft stuff, we've got beauty, we've got, we've got a lot. So yeah, let's just get in, into the video. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start off with kind of beauty products. So, the first kind of toiletry products that I picked up were from The Body Shop. Now, honestly, when I say I love The Body Shop, I basically don't use any other body washes or moisturisers. So, they brought out the new cucumber, lemon and something else ranges recently. Um, so I decided to go for the cucumber scent. I really wanted the lemon one, but it was out of stock. And yeah, so I went for the cucumber, but this honestly smells so fresh. Like for the summer, it's, it's really, really lovely. So I got the body yogurt. This is my favorite item that the body shop do. And I also picked up the shower gel to go with it. Next thing is I've actually during lockdown i actually tried fake tan for the first time because as we can all tell i am literally as pale as can be um and i literally hate it especially in the summer it's it like it literally stops me from wearing dresses and like skirts and stuff because i feel so self-conscious that my legs just look so pale and horrible and i don't tan in the sun like I just don't and it's like so annoying so I, I decided to try the St. Moritz tanning mousse I only got medium because I didn't want to get dark just in case because I'm so pale I didn't want it to be like that dramatic but I love it I use this a lot and this is just gonna be great for the summer next up I actually got some new skincare now I funnily enough I actually placed an order on M&S I know it's not somewhere that I usually shop but I they had some really nice pajama shorts which I will show you in a second but I also decided to look at their skincare because I don't know what's going on with my skin recently but it just hasn't been liking the skincare I've been using so I've decided to try this range um the brand is pure I believe I don't I think it might be like an M&S um like special if you know what i mean i'm not too sure though so i got the natural radiant day cream this also has spf in it which is brilliant um and yeah i'm super excited to try it the packaging very aesthetic oh look at that packaging oh my gosh that is literally gorgeous oh that smells quite good actually and also it's natural vegan and effective and i was like i just really wanted something really simple and not too that had like too much in it if you know what i mean so yeah i will let you know in one of my vlogs if i like this and then i also picked up this little set um in this set you get a face face wash a glyconic 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 glycolic maybe toner um an overnight oil and an eye cream and honestly i am so excited to try this um it just sounds perfect look at that so this is the face wash which i will get this through this quite quickly but that's fine this is the overnight oil how cute does all of this look um this is the toner and then this is the eye cream i am super excited to try this eye cream well i'm really excited to try it all but yeah that's all skincare that i've picked up recently okay now we're gonna move on to clothing now i did i have accumulated like not a lot but a few bits of like clothing that 
if I haven't put them in a haul, then they'll be in this video. So, I'm going to start off with M&S. As I said, I literally never shop at M&S, but I really liked these pyjama shorts. So, yeah. So, the first ones I got were these little lemon ones. Like, how cute are they? I had to get them in a size 10. I would have preferred a 6, but they literally didn't have any so they might be a tad big but they the drawstring waist isn't fake so I can just pull them in at the waist if need be um and they're pajama shorts so who's gonna see me anyway do you know what I mean so we both know, know that I had to pick up these ones as well how cute are these they're basically just grey with white polka dots on super simple but I love them a lot and then I did also get a pajama top to go with it and it just says is it friday yet which is such a mood not really when i'm on uh summer holidays but you know i wear this all, all year round really because i'm always begging for friday and then the next thing from m is super random but i saw it on the website and i was like i kind of just need that um so it was this really really soft cardigan now I don't like some people might say the cardigans are really like old granny but I say cardigans are like cozy cozy so this was originally 18 pounds but it was reduced to nine pounds um and it just looks so cozy and it's it's so soft like really soft and then like literally what feels like every other person and their mum i picked up some of the fur of the launch of saffron barker x in the style um i didn't actually manage to get what i originally wanted but i did pick that up in the second like pre-order thing but it hasn't arrived yet hopefully it'll be arriving soon but in the first launch i got these teal teal mint green joggers these are like a little bit big for me because I had to get an eight because I didn't have any sixes left. Um, but for like lounging about at home, I think it's like absolutely fine. And I was kind of hoping they've been through the wash now and they kind of look a little bit more. Not that they've shrunk, but you know when you like like wash them for the first time, they do kind of like they're not as big. Do you know? I hope you know what I mean. And then I also picked up the the pink cropped ribbed hoodie now i wasn't sure about this and i'm still not sure but i think for the summer this will be really really nice it's basically i love the shade of pink so it doesn't wash me out too much um it's a really really nice cropped length and it's just super lightweight and that's why i think it'll be great for the summer i can just imagine wearing this on the beach I don't know why, I just can. And then, also from In The Style, way before Saf I even knew Saffron was doing a collection, I saw this sweatshirt on there and I was like, that is me to a T, like I, I need that. I had like a whole meltdown about it and they only had one left that was in my size. I was just like, kind of meant to be. It's from the Jacqueline Josser collection. I don't know if they still have this on the website, but... It ba it's basically the messy bun and getting stuff done sweatshirt and if you know me that is literally me and it's like my favourite colour I will wear this all the time like I have to restrict myself because every day I'm just like I'll wear that I was like oh no I wore that yesterday okay now I'm going to do a few homeware items that I've bought I've only bought like two so the first one were some wax melts so um, I actually know the lady who runs this business She's called Coco Havana Wax Melt. Go and follow her on Instagram or Facebook because her wax melts are amazing. She's doing so well. We started, well, I mine was a little bit late to like properly get going, but we started our businesses kind of near around the same time. She started a bit before me, but she she's basically, it's going to be really confusing, but I know her because she's my godfather's sister daughter i think so yeah she's so lovely honestly she's the most amazing wax melt so i bought one of the packs with 
um, like the Easter packs. I got this way back at Easter. Um, so yeah, I've just been burning them. They're all different scents. And yeah, we burn them all the time. And then you would have seen them in previous videos, but I also brought some um, curtain fairy lights, I think they're called. They're basically the ones that everyone has that hang down. I will insert a picture here of them on but yeah they're just from amazon and if i can find them i will link them down below because they were a freaking amazing price like i think they were like nine pounds and they covered the whole of this wall and they're like seriously long okay now we're gonna move on to like the arts and crafts kind of section um so i had to include this in this haul because my nana got me this and she surprised me with it when she dropped off something for me it is this mug and it has loads of sewing stuff all on it and it has my name here i literally love it so much she honestly it was just so thoughtful of her to get this for me i think it's from not on the high street and then my mum surprised me with this pack of postcards with all like sewing quotes on i guess so um this one's literally my favorite sewing is cheaper than therapy yeah i will i'll put the um i'll try and link everything in this haul down below um but if i can't link something for whatever reason then i will just tell you where it's from okay next thing is an extremely kind of random purchase but i bought a pegboard from hobbycraft because i was just like I've always wanted one it was on offer so i was like hmm, i'll get one then it's not huge as you can see it's big enough um and i'm very excited to put this up i will put this up in one of my studio vlogs on my other channel if you're interested in that kind of thing um it's basically me having a meltdown because i don't know what i'm doing running a business so if you want to go and if you're interested in that then my other channel is called Sew and Inspire. Next thing, I don't really think I could do this haul without including one of these. But I bought a paint by numbers, didn't I? I mean, who hasn't during lockdown? Haven't actually started it yet because I've been extremely busy with school. But now school is done for the summer. This would definitely be getting done. But it looks extremely difficult. It's basically two, three dogs with mountains and grass in the background. But like there's a lot of colour mixing so wish me luck on this is all I'm going to say. But in my vlogs you'll know how I'm going with that. And then also from WeCraft I bought a canvas. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it yet. But I was just like Ugh, canvas is always handy and it's like a proper thick canvas. So I was just like I could embroider it. I could, I could do multiple things with this. So again keep up to date with my vlogs if you want to know what I do with that. And then, this is a weird note to end on, <laughs> but the last thing that I bought during that lockdown was a art journal. Now, I follow the Arty Crafty Place on Instagram. It's basically a block printing company. Um, you've seen me speak about them before in my other vlogs because my mum has very kindly like surprised me with um, some new blocks. But on their Instagram, I saw that they were doing an art journal. Now I was going to do this like a lot, but I've only done one page so far with my blocks. Um, but this one was just from Amazon. It was like £9 and it's kind of landscape. Um, I guess you could put it that way, but it's supposed to be this way. Um... So yeah, I'll link this down below if you want to give it a try. Um, I think it's basically just a sketchbook. Oh god, it just has that like really nice paper. But yeah, that is everything that I've bought during lockdown. I mean, I'm sure other people have bought a lot more. Um, and other people have been really good and haven't spent anything, but... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next Sunday at 10.30am for a brand new video. And it's going to be birthday related because next Saturday it is my birthday. I am so excited. There will be a birthday vlog. There will be a what I got for my birthday. And one more video which I'm not going to tell you. So stay tuned. Okay.
Bye!